Hello, my scary friends. Hey, Wolfie, come on, show yourself. I need advice about this weekend, so I'll tell you what's on my plate first. This is my first attempt at expressing something I witnessed as a teenager. I am now in my 30s, but I couldn't e find any outlet until now. I was only 15 when I first saw it happen, so it has been a couple years, but someone reminded me the other day. When I was 15 I had this boyfriend who let's just say, was perfect. Maybe I was naive and in love, but I really saw something else in him. He was a year older than me and he usually kept the older company as well. His best buddy was 18 and those two were inseparable to the point of questioning if you know what I mean. But he was a sensible and slick man's man an alpha male, and he always kept his beaters in tow. We LL call them H and S with fingers crossed they never see this. Now, these two would do all sorts of shit that teenagers get into at that age, yet they were different about it. H had this timeless persona he didn't e fit in but he was a trendsetter. While all the other boys were out chasing their tails, he was cutting ahead setting his own rules and pushing all limits. S kind of leached onto that and followed, but H knew all too well. Yet, no foul play because of hand had S those boundaries, like wolves. I don't e know why this sticks out to me. But whenever S would stay with H, H gladly shared his bed. I didn't e know if this was a guy thing, if something was going on, or if they truly just loved each other as brothers. I thought it was really sweet, to be honest. I asked him about it once because we shared that bed too, S is the first person that I could call a friend after moving here. He is family. Just as I would share my bed with my sisters, I share with him. He is just a part of the pack. Babe, I am not gay my mom and I already had this discussion exclamation mark we just laughed. H and I were really entwined, completely lost in each other, and he was my soul mate. So what I share from here really hurts, because I saw something that completely changed my entire perspective on life forever. H and S started dabbling around with LSD and other psychedelics. They experimented with all the other drugs, but something really stuck out with watching them on LSD. Those two with flying saucer pupils would stare into each other's eyes for hours, and honestly, it was intriguing. Listening to them talk was mind-blowing. H would rattle on and on from science to the divine all tying it up together into tight packages. He would start to glow and develop to halo that S and I could always see. Take note, I didn't e do any drugs. H transformed himself into a god, and S knew it. That S when things turned sour because remember H was the alpha. S started to do what all the other boys would do until they would get stomped into the ground by H. He got competitive with H. He started talking shit, one-upping, and generally tried to stoke his ego as much as possible. He started to leech off of H as if he was some kind of endless well of masculine energy. H hated this. That S when I noticed H getting tired after a few weeks. He became really depressed. When I was alone with him, I remember him telling me something that sent chills down my spine, something like it feels as if there is a leak in my soul. It was scary because I was noticing it too. H was very busy all the time, but always had time for the people he loved. I started to see less and less of S and when I did, it seemed like his soul was leaking away too. He was becoming dead inside. H and S continued to do LSD and other things, and when S stayed the night H made him sleep on the floor. They would stare into their eyes for hours, and H would just laugh and then cry manically. Breaking his emotions by saying he was sorry to S over and over on a loop. 
I thought all this was weird as fuck because that wasn't either nature of these beasts. H seemed to block his leak, but S just kept draining. Later on, I never saw S anymore. I asked H about it and he flat out told me remember when I kept apologizing to S while dripping? It S because I was eating his soul. I turned him inside out and devoured every little scrap left of him. Confused I asked with a chuckle, what did he taste like? Question mark H responded with sigh and laugh, to be honest, an expired chicken. I prodded a bit more to hear stuff like, he should've known better. He said all sort about honor, love, all the good bits, and then sacrifice. That one stuck out to my sacrifice. Years passed and H became hubby, and we never saw S again. Everyone we knew said the same thing about S. He lost it and never recovered, but they don't know what he lost. I was reminded of all this because I bumped into one of S's ex-girlfriends the other day. She was asking about my husband in a panic, like she was scared for me and told me that before S finally broke, all S could mutter on was about how he shouldn't he have, broken the code, betrayed alliances, defied honor and order. She really confused me with all of this, but now it all makes sense. My husband would always go on about the wolf being his spirit animal and that he wouldn't he take psychedelic mushrooms with anyone because he turned into a werewolf and was afraid he would eat us. I thought it was cute, but now I know he wasn't he lying. My husband ate his best friend's soul. I told him that I had seen the ex-girlfriend and he replied verbatim, no, why would she bring up the past like that? People grow up, and we grow in different directions. It was just time for us to part ways. Remember it has been over 15 years and he doesn't he remember it as I do. I reminded him about the wolves and eating souls stuff, and he just laughed and said wow, I was really fucking weird back then. But yeah, motherfucker stepped out over the line and paid for it, making a goofy spooky voice with his soul exclamation mark we've grown up so much together that I can t tell the difference anymore. Was he kidding or serious? That felt good to type out. Fuck. A part of me misses S yet he did upset my man. But, the reason I am actually putting this out there is that my hubby was given some LSD the other day and I was wondering you all should I do it with him? He wants to do it this weekend.